the President of Switzerland, the President Zelensky of Ukraine, Madam Vice President of the United States, Heads of States, ladies and gentlemen. 79 years after the international community established a multilateral institutional framework to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has been a, horrib a horrifying spectacle of carnage and devastation, which has left 500,000 people dead and 7.1 million people displaced in its wake. Across the world, people and nations are enduring the negative consequences of disrupted supply chains. Kenya's position has been clear and unequivocal from the beginning. Russia's aggression against Ukraine is unlawful, unjust, and a violation of the fundamental principles of international law, which honor the sovereign equality of nations, upholds their territorial integrity, and advocates the peaceful resolution of all disagreements. Just like the war in Ukraine, the war in the Middle East has been equally devastating. So is the case with the war in the Sahel region in Africa, in Eastern DRC, in Somalia, in the Horn of Africa, and of course in the Sudan. 14 million Africans have been displaced by the war in our continent and 2.5 million kids are out of school. This state of affairs speaks volumes of global leadership and especially the peace architecture at the United Nations and more specifically the gridlock at the United Nations Security Council. Today, a farmer in Kenya in rural Kenya, actually, knows there is war in Ukraine for two reasons. Number one, he paid more for his fertilizer, and number two, his fertilizer came late. Let me also say this peace summit is a historic step in the right direction. For the first time, we have convened to talk about peace in Ukraine and not war in Ukraine. Secondly, a commitment to peace makes certain fundamental concessions inevitable. This summit should not be a meeting of just friends. This should be a meeting of both friends and foe to succeed in this positive trajectory. Russia must be on the table, number one. Number two, an American general, Norman Swastow, said, the more we sweat in peace, the less we bleed in war. It is time for leaders of the world to talk about peace, negotiate peace, work hard to build peace, and configure a global strategic framework that integrates peace as the sole means and end of human endeavor. Finally, we have gathered here and we are reminded by the Indian statesman Mahatma Gandhi, who say that an, an eye for an eye will make humanity blind. Just as Russia's invasion of Ukraine was unlawful and unacceptable, the unilateral appropriation of Russia's assets is equally unlawful, unacceptable, and a derogation from the UN Charter, especially for those of us who believe in freedom, justice, and democracy, and the rule of law. As we embark on this journey, to resolve conflict in Ukraine and throughout the world, it's time for parties to the war in Ukraine to demonstrate good faith, abandon intransigent attitudes, and soften their positions. I thank you. Thank you.